Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new, so happy to have you here. I'm still a little bit raspy. Yeah, we're getting better, slowly but surely. It always takes so long for me to get better from anything, I swear, because of my just my immune system is probably shot right now after everything that I've had in the last month. Um, but anyway, that's not the point of this. I just thought I would if just so you guys know why I still sound a little bit funny. I feel like I still sound a little bit funny. Um, but anyway. I feel like I'm also kind of bleached out. I'm sorry that like my camera loves to do this when it's summertime. It just loves to bleach me out. Anyway, we are at Old Navy. I wasn't sure how everyone was feeling about Old Navy. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. Of course, my initial thought was annoyance. If you haven't heard, Old Navy, they put plus sizes into every single one of their stores and then they pulled it out of some of them. Um, I am lucky enough, judging by the website, it seems like both of my stores in my town still have plus sizes. So I'm very thankful for that. But I understand if people are annoyed. And I, I feel like Old Navy could have gone about this so differently had they just started with like putting it in some stores and then working it up and seeing what worked. They promised too much and then they overpromised basically <laughs> is what they were like, we're going to do this. And then they took it back. And honestly, that's really crappy, really crappy. But the truth of the matter is it's still a very widely accessible, affordable company. Um, and as someone who lives their life on a budget, I understand many people are still going to want to shop at Old Navy. You can get such good deals sometimes. Um, so let me know your thoughts. I mean, I'm going to do a try on today and see what we can find. You know, I don't know how I feel. I, I'm better that they have it in some stores than no stores. I mean, they're still doing better than a lot of other companies, but I, I totally understand why people are upset or annoyed. Um, you know, I was definitely annoyed when I heard the news and I was like, you guys, you should have done it differently. We're very understanding as plus size people. We're very understanding. We've dealt with a lot of crap. Had they just like started slowly and then been like, we hope to put it in all stores. We don't know yet. That's what they should have done. And just like, you know, they should have under promised, but they over promised and under delivered. Anyway, that's my thought on that. Let me know what you guys think. Are you still shopping at Old Navy? Are you mad at them? Are you not going to shop there? Um, let me know. I, it's like still in, I think they took it out of 75 stores. So it's still in the majority of their stores. I don't know how many stores Old Navy has, but I'm guessing, you know, I don't know. I almost wish that they would have just like spread it out some. Like I wouldn't be mad if only one of my stores had plus sizes if someone else, you know, could have plus sizes in their store. But anyway, we're going to try some stuff on. I'm looking for absolutely nothing, but I, I'm i on a vibe of like midi skirts and midi dresses and maxi dresses for the summer because it is hot, you guys. I just turned off my AC and I'm already like heating up. I don't know. Let's go see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some good deals. I heard that the strawberry t-shirt that I tried on a couple trials ago is now on clearance. So if they have my size, I might have to snag that. Um, and then after that, I think we might go to Ulta. I might go to Ulta. Um, I'm trying out some anti-fog spray my girl Yvonne told me that this existed and I didn't even know um because you know your girl I'm wearing a mask even though I'm sweating I'm gonna wear a mask because I am not getting more sick um uh, but anyway so let's go see what we can find if you have any questions about my measurements or anything they're always down below in the description box as well as I link everything I possibly can find and a lot of times it's cheaper online than it is in the old navy stores I have found so that's down there for you all right let's go to old navy all right, loves, let's go to Old Navy. Right when I walked in, they had a bunch of stuff on sale. Honestly, a ton of the store was on sale, which is nice. I feel like it can go back and forth. Sometimes I go in and barely anything's on sale. And sometimes I go in and a ton of stuff is on sale. So I even had seen some of these dresses online and it said that my store didn't have them in stock. But surprise, they had them right up front and on sale. Lots of cute little tops. Very, very cute stuff. I was really into this floral print and I always love a good denim so I had to grab a couple tops a couple dresses uh, they also had a bunch of shorts up front that were super stretchy so I decided to try on a pair I just in my brain like I saw it, it was only $15 but I probably should have gotten the shorts that I tried on well maybe not you'll see you'll see anyway I saw this top online as well and I thought it was really cute so I tried it on they honestly didn't have that many longer dresses a lot of them were shorter so I found one maxi dress that I thought was cute, but not that many. I thought this little top would be cute. They had it in all different colors, and it was on clearance. They also had a bunch of really cute belts, and I could tell by the lengths that they must have plus size ones too for really good prices. So here is my outfit of the day. My top is from Torrid, and my skirt is from Shein. Yeah, so I found lots of cute stuff to try on, so let's get 
started the first thing I tried on was this dress this is the one that I saw online and thought was so so cute I was able to find it in my size which is normally a 2x I can do an XXL or a 2x the only thing is I wish this would have been a little bit sh I almost said a little bit shorter no I wish it would have been a little bit longer a little bit longer um, I might want to try the XXL tall because I love this dress so much it's got pockets it's so stinking cute I just love it it's just like oh, spring summer vibes and the most like pastel cotton candy princess I love it so much um, I mean maybe I could try on a 3x because honestly this and the top in this print were a little bit snug in the bust and I'm wearing a black bra so you can see it but I saw a little trick on how to tie that around so that you don't see it anyway love 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 that dress here's the next one I tried on this one is very me I love the little side cutouts I think they're so cute and I just love the black and white black and white is always my go-to always and forever love this so much I feel like this one was a much better length I wish that the other one would have been the same length as this one uh, because it would have been going home with me instantly but it just was a little bit short so but this one so cute it felt like a really nice quality too it felt like a little bit thicker it had pockets as well which is always a win some of you guys have said that you don't really love the side slit trends going on right now you could always just wear a tank top underneath it honestly I don't think anyone would see it I feel like how the elastic was on this dress that you honestly would at least on my body I would have to pull on it for you to see that there were little side slits anyway I could not find the tag on this dress for a minute I eventually found it as you can see uh how cute is this dress oh my goodness I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like subtle I'm wearing biker shorts by the way I was wearing biker shorts under my skirt so I just left them on um if it's supposed to be subtle like fourth of july vibes i'm not really a fourth of july girl to be honest with you never really been my thing no offense if you like it but it's just not really my vibe but i think that this dress even though it was kind of in that section i would never look at this dress and be like fourth of july vibes but if you're looking for a dress for fourth of july this is so cute they actually had quite a few cute red white and blue themed dresses so that's your vibe my biker shorts are from Boohoo, by the way. Super duper comfy. Honestly, size down because they've stretched out insanely. But they're actually in my last Boohoo video. Here's a white dress. I almost just tried on one of these two because they were very similar. But I'm so glad I tried on both because they were both so adorable in different ways. This one has lining. I can't remember if the other one had lining. But I, I would suggest obviously wearing a white bra or a peach bra or like a, you know, a skin tone colored bra underneath this because the top is definitely see-through but I do like that the bottom has another layer again on me at 5'9 it's a little bit short um the back was really cute I was trying to get you a good shot of how cute the back was the back was really cute on the other one that was similar to this as well the one I just tried on before this uh so I think these are so cute and honestly I would probably just wear them with the biker shorts and if they showed that's fine but at least I would know that my booty was covered and that way I could still wear the cute little dresses this is the only really maxi dress that I found. I feel like had it been black, I would have felt comfortable with how poofy it was. But something about the color and where it hit me, I just wasn't absolutely in love with it. Just wasn't the vibe. Especially after trying on such cute maxis at Target. Honestly, Target is the vibe right now for the plus size maxi. Such good stuff. I'm still dreaming about that black and teal one. I might have to go back and get it because it's just so perfect for every day. But this was really comfortable and <laughs> that piece of my banks was driving me nuts but this is really comfortable and it's on clearance and i'm forever bruised one day i'll heal one day i'll stop being sick <laughs> um i decided to try on these little shorts i didn't really have a top that matched them so i just went ahead and tried it on with this denim top uh how stinking cute is this top oh my gosh i i live for like slight prairie vibes if that makes sense i know a lot of people aren't down for it but like I don't even know cottage core vibes if that makes sense like I am down for that I want to look like I'm gonna go have some tea or something with my friends and frolic I don't know where I'm going with this you guys my brain is done <laughs> would you guys get me um so love the top it felt like really nice quality honestly it felt nicer than what you would expect at old navy I tried on these shorts I heard a lot of their shorts are running small and honestly I have kind of felt that too and honestly, I'll normally go for a 3X on the bottom, more of a 2X on top. And these actually had a little bit of extra room in them. I actually really liked how they fit. So I was pretty impressed. They had them in many different colors. 
This top, like I had mentioned, I had seen online and thought was so stinking cute. And then here are those $15 shorts. $15! I wish I'd gotten them. Well, I wish I'd gotten a different size. You'll see in a second why. Um, so this top, definitely tight in the bust, just like the dress in the same fabric was as well. Uh, so definitely you might need to size up if you've got a big bust, because I do not. It's not usually an issue for me. Every once in a while at Old Navy, because I do find the sizing can be a bit inconsistent. Uh, it was just a little snug. I wish it was just a little bit longer, but again, long torso, tall bean. And it's still really cute. So here's my confusion. The last time I tried on shorts in the same size, they were really tight. And I know I'm a little less bloated because I've been, you know, in treatment for PMDD. But at the same time, like, that's a big difference. That's a big difference. And you'll see why I think it's the shorts and not me in a minute. So these are a size 22. Very comfortable, but definitely a little bit big. I could totally wear them, but I think a 20 would be the right size for me in those. Um, and then the last outfit I tried on, I found this little guy on clearance in an XXL tall. And their jeans, and normally a 22 is like okay, but I knew because these had no stretch that I should size up. So see how I just tried on a pair of shorts and 22s and they were way too big? And then I'm trying on a 24 and like they're pretty much perfect, given they're a little loose. They're a little loose, that was the plan. I'm getting off topic all about the pants, but this top, I wanted it to be more flowy than it was. So I wasn't in love with it, but it's kind of cute. But these pants, you guys, I love them. I would definitely say size up. If you want kind of the baggy fit, and especially because there is no stretch and you want them comfy. Um, yeah, I was feeling it. I am like on a vibe with slightly baggy pants right now. It took me a minute, you guys. It took me a minute to get here. I still live for a skinny jean. Always and forever. Millennial through and through. I was sweating, uh, but I love these pants. Love them. 10 out of 10. So I got all dressed. Let's go back to the car and round this up to talk about it. Okay, let's go. I moved my car because I wanted to get closer to Ulta um, and get the AC going for a minute because I am a hot. It was hot in that fitting room. Normally those fitting rooms aren't too warm, but I think just because it's summer, it's unavoidable and they were actually pretty busy. Um, so I'm very glad that I took a mask with me. But you guys, I'm almost annoyed at how good that try on was. I loved almost everything. Minus the inconsistency on the pants, but I kind of expected that because that is an Old Navy thing. Inconsistency is the vibe sometimes. Um, but I honestly loved all of the dresses. I loved so much of the stuff. I was really, really excited about it. Um, and a lot of stuff was actually on sale. I honestly don't need anything right now. And I had to fight putting stuff back, but I ended up just putting everything back because you guys know me. I have more clothes than anyone needs, but I'm going to be dreaming of those dresses. And I also really want to see if I can get that pastel one in a tall online because I was obsessed with that. It was just like a little bit too short for me. Had it been like one inch longer, two inches longer, I think I would have been obsessed and it would have come home with me because I'm pretty sure it was on sale for 30% off. Uh, absolutely love it. The little black dress. So cute. So many cute dresses. You guys, I don't need any more dresses, but I love them. And honestly, I like both pairs of shorts and those jeans. <laughs> those are freaking cute. Those are freaking cute. So now you just got to get over the size. And like, I know that normally at Old Navy, I wear a 22. Though I love that the 22 and those other shorts were like falling off. And then the 24 and the jeans were like a little loose in the butt, but basically a perfect fit for what I want them for. I, I want the jeans to be a little bit baggy. Um, yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed the try on. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am sweating. I need to pop into Ulta before they close. I got like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 24 minutes now um, for a couple of things, but I am going to vlog it. As much as I can. So I'm gonna hop onto that. But I honestly really enjoyed this try on at Old Navy. Let me know your thoughts. Are you still upset with Old Navy? Are you down to shop at Old Navy? Um, you guys know my thoughts now. Uh, I'm not gonna judge you either way. I totally get it. Uh, oop. <laughs> anyway, sorry to kind of cut this outro short, but I was really impressed with what I found. And honestly, some of the stuff was better quality than it has been in a minute. And I know that people love to rag on Old Navy and they love to rag on a lot of affordable companies, but. Um, Honestly, especially with those deals, I'm not mad at all. I was pretty impressed. Um, yeah, I'll still be slightly annoyed for a minute at them, but I don't think that, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. I know there's so many people that that's like what's accessible for them and they had so much clearance. So even if you're mad at them, you can go get some good clearance if you want, if you want. Anyway, I'm going to run into Ulta. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you could. It does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and again, everything is linked down below.
their affiliate links would mean the world if you could use them. It just helps me keep creating these videos. Uh, but I think that's it. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon.